Okay, so you you are uh, seeing my screen, no? Okay. Well, this is the agenda of the presentation. Uh, well, in this presentation, I'm introducing a new data set that poses the need of expanding current uh, OMR efforts to other music contents than the usual ones. Uh, in order to explain uh, this situation, uh, we will talk first uh, about the, the sources and the problem. Then uh, we will describe the, the data set uh, we have published. We will talk about the encoding methodology we have followed in order to, to get encoding from the, the, the sources. We will describe how to, to organize the data set uh, for different purposes. purposes and uh, we will see how current uh, the performance of current OMR systems with this corpus. And we will discuss uh, about some uh, the conclusions. No? Well, uh, we know uh, along these these years in the workshop the the OMR is is currently very improved uh, a lot but still immature. You know? There's too many things to do. Um, usually, uh, we we develop uh, systems to to work with to recognize the music in 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 books or in images. We usually uh, uh, try to recognize uh, just music, and we usually train our models using homogeneous or standard music uh, sources. No? But there are many other kinds of contents uh, that could benefit from, from uh, the new technologies uh, we are developing in OMR. In this uh, presentation, we will introduce a new data set. This is named Nighting Mu Music Theory OMR uh, data set. And we will use as a study case. Uh, this is a, a, a data set made of music notation embedded in, in books of, uh, of theory uh, of in, printed in the 19th century in Germany. Um, and, it, and this is developed in the context of a, a big uh, digital humanities project uh, developed by Fabian Moss. Uh, this is the name of the of the of the project. Eh? The project is not a OMR project, but a digital humanities one, and they want to use the output of the OMR for other things. This is important because, because this is a, a, a typical uh, musicology project. No? We find in the project, uh, in this kind of projects, small data sets uh, with a very high vari variability, usually in image resolutions, music fonts, and uh, in some cases, even the contents you, you, you find in the, in the data set. So this is the, 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 the typical project for which uh, the OMR system uh, should be able to, to be a tool that, that uh, gives solutions eh, for uh, avoiding to have to encode by hand uh, all the contents in, in the images. No? Well, I will talk now about the, the corpus itself. These are uh, the typical sample pages we have in, in the books. Here you can see dif different contents, uh, as you can see here or here, or here or here, no? with, the, uh, with uh, printing styles uh, and the image conditions, as you will see now here, for example, here you, you have here a nice uh, scan, but in this case, uh, there are many problems in this image. Yeah? So this is the, the kind of, of contents we have in this project. Well, with these uh, sources, uh, we have eight books. Uh, from these eight books, uh, my coster is here uh, in, in the in the presentation. Uh, he uh, created uh, the output of the transcribus uh, OCR uh, system, um, and what what he did is to uh, well check that everything was right and for example uh, we obtained from this from this uh, system uh, the ti encoding this has xml file that contains in something named a facsimile uh, element we have for example the the name of the of the of the page that you can see here in the region and here in the encoding or the sorry the the paragraph, as you can see here and here and, and in the paragraph here, or what's interesting for us, the music content 
extent inside a floating element, as you can see here, or the rest of the paragraph. Huh? So after having the, uh, organized, segmented the, the, the books, uh, one pending thing we have to do is to uh, include it in MEI uh, into the TI, the, the music content. No? This is something to do that we will do in, in the future. Okay. So having that, what we uh, what we get is from the TI, as you can see, uh, be, uh, we have seen before, we have the, the, the different regions segmented in the TI file. And uh, from each of these regions, we have an image, uh, a cropped uh, region in an image file. So then what we have is for each book, we have a set of image files that contain these kind of things. Well, from this kind of images that contain music, what we have done is to encode by hand uh, the music. The music has been encoded uh, uh, almost co uh, completely by Nestor Napoles. Uh, and well, for each music region, there are around a, a thousand of them. Uh, we have a one PNG file, and there are many different resolutions from a, a very small size images to big images. We, uh, and some uh, uh, scans have se uh, 72 uh, points per inch and other have a uh, 300. So it's, it's a high variability on that. We have done a standard uh, current encoding and we have used kern because it's in, in very well hamdrum viewer because it's very easy to do it by hand and uh, it's uh, relatively uh, uh, fast to do it. We have uh, created a, a kind of style guide uh, in order to be consistent with encoding. And we thought that this, this is important for uh, uh, being the, this an OMR data set eh, for letting the, the systems that have to, to use it uh, to, to have a, for the same situation, the same encoding. No? Uh, we wanted to be consistent. This has been a, a something very important for us. For example, one thing that that we have to 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 uh, decide is in which order we wanted to to encode the the chords uh, and uh, to to be the first one uh, before uh, and the last one the, uh, the the top one the the last one and so on. Well. When we were encoding, we found uh, a lot of challenging cases. For example, a, a typical case in which a, a one thing is the visual content and the other one is the is the symbolic uh, the symbolic content. For example, in this case, there is a missing uh, augmentation dot here, so we had to encode it. And the problem is that, for example, in kern, uh, kern does not allow to encode uh, hidden dots. For example, it's able to encode hidden accidentals, but not hidden dots. So we had to encode. Uh, explicitly the, this dot, no? Or for example, in this case, we found a three, uh, this means a three, four uh, time signature. Uh, we could encode in MENS using the tripla, but it, is, it, it does not make uh, sense to do it in kernels. So we encoded three, four in this case. Or a typical thing we found is we had uh, many voices inside the, the, the inside the, the, the staves. So uh, we used a, uh, different spines in the terminology of, of, of kernel. Right? There's different uh, lines of, of encodings, one for each uh, voice. Well, in order to be able to later for the researchers use this, this, this data set and do clustering on, on, the, on the data or to be able to classify the contents, what we did is to uh, create a kind of features from the data uh, so that you can group things or filter or whatever you want. No? Later, I will explain all these features with, uh, uh, with examples. What we did is uh, 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 with all these features to create a, 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 a spreadsheet, no? a CSV, uh, where we uh, marked uh, when each of the, of the, of the feature uh, is present. Uh, this data set is already uploaded to the Open Science Framework. Uh, you can uh, check this URL you have also in the PDF in the proceedings. 
So you can download them, uh, all the contents from these files. What these files contain is the, we have created a kind of three flavors, no? For example, the first one contains everything, eh? all the transcription, all the, all the segmentation, eh, eh, well, everything. The, the second one contains only the pages that contain music examples. And the third one contains just the cropped images along with the uh, encoded, uh, uh, encoded uh, files eh, in her and the CSV that I have, uh, we have just uh, seen before. In, in total, we have uh, 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 about uh, 400 uh, music examples. There are many more uh, cropped regions, but with uh, uh, tagged uh, uh, examples in current, we have around 400 from eight different books. Everything is uploaded uh, also to GitHub. So uh, you are welcome to, to use the data set and have any, any issue you, uh, you find. For example, you can see here where there are some pending issues we, we have to correct, but well, the, the idea is to get uh, to improve the, the corpus. So you are welcome to, to, to add anything you want. Well, what I'm going to do now is to, to describe very briefly, because we don't have too much time, uh, uh, the kind of contents we will find in the in the in the corpus. No, uh, for example, um, and and well, I will talk uh, why we have uh, separated different features uh, uh, each of the images. We uh, uh, say that a uh, 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 a file is polyphonic when it contains several chords, as you can see here or contains simultaneous voices in the same stuff, as you can see here. And there are not actually chords, but uh, different voices in the same stuff. We have tagged as a uh, work to be ensemble when, when it has several uh, staves in the same system as the kind of orchestral uh, arrangement. Uh, and it's important to know that this is not tagged as polyphonic, even though uh, you listen to it, it's a polyphonic work, but uh, each of the staves is, is not polyphonic, it's monophonic in this case. We have many files with uh, rhythmic uh, notation, as you can see here, this is, contains just the rhythmic notation. It's worth to note that uh, currently in, in Kern, we cannot hide the 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 uh, the clef, yeah, the rhythmic clef, the percussion clef here. So we have had to encode it. This is the kind of, of, of issues we have in it, GitHub now. Well, there are many other symbols that cannot be encoded, such as this one yeah, or, or these, these rhythmic uh, uh, indications, but these are contents that we cannot encode currently with kern. Uh, a very important thing we, the, the corpus contain is, uh, as you can see here in the, on the bottom, there are many harmonic indications. They are harmony theory books. So there are uh, hundreds of, the, of them, no? But the problem with that is that uh, first for the OMR systems, is, is to, it's difficult to identify it as a, a harmonic indication and distinguish it from a lyrics, for example, no? The problem is that in, in Kern and in any other system, they cannot be annotated uh, using a standard format. Uh, we're suggesting to use it uh, in, with a text spine. That's something we have to do in the future. We contain, the, the corpus contains many piano form notations uh, and uh, it can be uh, distribu uh, dis uh, distributed uh, into uh, a single line or in several uh, systems. Here we have several systems, but it, but we can find also uh, uh, several systems uh, this way. We can find even uh, books that contain piano form. And you can see uh, uh, here, for example, in this line that it contains not a piano form, but a single state. So we have a, a mixed uh, kind of, of contents. No? Well, uh, it, there are many examples where, where uh, document analysis system sh systems should uh, be able to distinguish between two different examples in the same uh, figure, uh, like this one or like this one. In this case, we have a sing single staves or single systems, and the examples are labeled uh, uh, as these uh, labels you can see here or here or with numbers. Uh, 
Yeah? This is something important that the OMR system should be able to identify. Well, there are special notations that we cannot encode in kern, that there are many of them in the in the corpus. For example, you can see here the, this double uh, whole knot or, or these kind of, of things here. Uh, in the book, there are many uh, portamento-like uh, lines, uh, like this here, that cannot be uh, encoded in kern to, to talk about harmonic things. You can encode in kern the portamento, but not for this purpose. Or something more strange that is important for the books is this kind of, 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 of braces around chords, as you can see here. Or uh, as you can see here, uh, there are, uh, this is not, uh, the bar lines, bar lines are not uh, showing any metrical uh, division, but other things. What we have seen a little bit before, there are many metric indications below music that should be identified correctly. Or these Q-like uh, note heads, uh, are, these are made for, for explaining harmonic uh, content. There are many indications as floating text that that uh, make sense uh, that to be a, a, that the, the system should be able to identify uh, semantically. Many note heads uh, just to to show the harmonic content. Many uh, special marks such as these ones. Uh, and here you can see also that's a. Another difficulty for the OMR system that they use a, a print movable types, as you can see that they there's divided, each print is divided from the, the, the other one before. Uh, as special marks, you can see this kind of special marks that I don't know how, but it would be nice to be able to be identified. And besides, we have many challenging other challenging uh, cases, as, as what I have mentioned before, this kind of, 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 of uh, print movable types, you can see even in the, in the stems and in the beams. Yeah. I have to point out that we're over time. Sorry? We're over time. So please wrap up. Okay. Well, or, or, or this case here uh, or here, okay. So uh, there are many challenges. So, well, we tested that with different OMR systems. Well, all these ones here uh, uh, with demo version in many cases. And what's important is that, uh, well, we, we uh, change the images uh, in order to meet the, the requirements of each OMR system. And the output is this one, as you can see here. So uh, they didn't detect anything. Uh, meaningful, no? So you can see that it's a, really a mess yeah, with any other system. So to conclude, we say that we uh, created this data set. It's a small data set that cannot, cannot be used for machine learning uh, 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 to train any machine learning approach, but it could be used to test any machine learning. The project is alive, as I mentioned before, and one important thing is that this corpus has an intrinsic problem is what I have mentioned about the, the harmony. No? The problem is that currently OMR systems are not able to identify a, a harmonic a, a annotations as such, and they would be nice to identify it. And this is part of OMR, uh, the, there's no encoding, uh, standard encoding for it, okay? Uh, uh, you can take later in, in, in another mo uh, moment with, with, uh, 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 with uh, I would say, <laughs> sorry, with my colleague uh, about the uh, workshop that he organized uh, uh, regarding this encoding uh, formats in Harmony. Okay. And just for, uh, to finish, to say that this is not a problem only in these uh, mus music theory books, but uh, this kind of books and it would be very nice to identify music contents not only in the music itself but in the middle of uh, textbooks and this is all sorry for extending my presentation thank you thank you very much david
Um, I have one quick question because then we have to move on to the next session. Uh, you gave one example where you uh, created an encoding and where you inserted a missing augmentation dot. Hmm. I was wondering if this is actually correct. I mean, of course, like musically speaking, um, to fill the measure rhythmically correctly, the dot is missing. But when you create an encoding a data set and you kind of dream up this dot to fix it and you kind of incorrectly adding information that is not in the underlying data set. Yeah, this is the this is what we wanted to pose in this presentation. No, that uh, for example, if we want to use kern for encoding these kind of things, we have to uh, extend kern in order to be able to encode uh, the same we do in MEI. For example, to be able to encode the the musical content, eh, the played content, and distinguish it from the visual content. So so in kern we should be able to encode this dot as a hidden dot. And this is the, and there are many many cases in which uh, the current uh, encodings are not able to uh, to to do these things. MEI can do it, but MEI is not a, a comfortable, let's say, comfortable uh, format to be able to encode the hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much.